Well, hello, folks. Welcome to episode three of our 11th season here with Riga FC. I'm the Custard Prophet. This is the Latvian job, and we are going to the new camp. Got no bloody hope. Yes, folks, we are off to the new camp. We're all very excited. I was going to come back for the next one, but I thought, no, how often do Riga get to go to the new camp? We're going to get smashed, but it's worth it we can take in the sights and sounds of barcelona and see what see see how many we get smashed by um probably the biggest news since we were last together because we played in the league and it doesn't really matter that um but the big news for me is this we are improving the youth facilities it's about 1.6 million pounds that we're spending on this it's going to be ready in the end of january so not too far away and that will take our youth facilities to i think from good to excellent i think and then superbs the top one well let me know I, mean, I can never remember the order that they they occur i tried to increase the stadium and then whatever i said they said well look you're not filling the stadium out as it is so we're not going to add any more seats which I mean, logically that makes sense, but you think against Barcelona will probably fill out the stadium. So, uh, yeah, even we're averaging about probably about four and a half thousand every match in terms of spectators. So, yeah. Uh, so last time you we were together, it was only three matches ago. We played uh, FC Copenhagen at home. Bit of a rubbish result actually. Here yeah, we drew one-one. Late goal from them, but. Crollis got the uh, the goal didn't really matter because we were through that uh, with the 2-1 away win uh, so pretty good and then we just dominated the, the three games uh, Valmeria uh, they were all no they weren't all away games um, so Valmeria we won 3-0 Papadaf Crollis with the uh, with the goals there Noah 7-0 this one Lisa was Daff Nieta Popovic Eldorikis and Franco and then this one against Dynamo Rigo was 10-0 all of the strikers six strikers who were in the squad all scored goals not bad so we're coming back here against barcelona we've got no bloody hope here um the other thing to note is that we've drawn spartax in the cup so uh, at home i'd hope to think we get through that and continue our run there uh, and i guess probably going to say we'll come back for the home game against inter after this and then the home game against Bejiktas at the end of it. All we're trying to do is finish third in this group because we've got no bloody chance of doing anything against Inter. That's that's for certain. Right, should we play Barcelona? Oh, we'll be spanked, spanked, spanked all the way around Barcelona. But you know, it doesn't matter. We we will come back with our our miniature Sagrada Familia um, sculptures and uh, cases of. Estoril. That's, uh, you know, we, we don't care. Right then, team. Team we're going with is as such, we're going with a bit of a shock in my mind. Uh, we've got Krollis Aldrichis, Pape Daff going up top, then midfield, Bamba, Franco, and Hadraf. And the back, uh, back line, Bajekic, Mendia, Stankus, and the centre back is playing on right side, and Jahori in goal. We've got Diego on the bench, which is good at the back. Messina as well. Ilya, he's back from injury recently. And um, Lisinov's obviously, he can... It's, it's, it's hard to know whether him or Aldericus is the man to play in various situations. I suspect Aldericus is given his craft and Barcelona aren't going to be really big at the back, I'd assume. But we, we never know. Popovic as well. Right then. I mean, this is 11 seasons into the... Um, match so we're probably not going to have too many barcelona superstars here but yeah <laughs> they will have a new wave of superstars the new messi undoubtedly will be leading the line for for them i suspect seven nil but let me know what you think the damage is going to be here's the barcelona team do i oh, pedri de jong kimmich there so still some quality in there um but, but they can't match the likes of Krollis and Pape Daff, I'm sure. Oh dear. Oh dear. And we have kickoff highlight. 
<laughs> oh my, my, oh my, oh my. Funnily enough, there was people saying, oh yeah, there's maybe a chance here for uh, Riga, but there is no bloody chance in the world that we're doing anything here. <laughs> Not with goalkeeping like that. 24 seconds on the clock and the goalkeeper makes a cock up. We don't need to be making cock ups. Not not against Barcelona. The goalkeeper should have had that. I'm not going to watch that again because I don't want to. We're 1 0 down, folks. Well, we've had a few shots ourselves, but Kimmich has got a corner here. And here they go again. Oh, we've kept it out. <laughs> There's no way we should have kept that out, but we did. I, I say it's good defending. Some might disagree. Another corner in, Kimmich. From the other side, it's one's gone over. Oh, looks like it might have been offside. Dodo. Into uh, Krollis. Well, at least we've got the ball here. Not for long, but it's a lovely... Oh, I thought he was a cracking ball in there to Krollis, but he's not that fast. Kimmich. Lemantin. Dodo, come on. 15 minutes on and we're, you know, it's, it's, it's a challenge. It's all the shots are from them. Bar, we block that one. Lovely play. De Jong. We're trying our very best to keep them out. And the goalkeeper does his bit there. And Lamartine probably should have done a bit better. Another corner. Jesus. And somehow we keep that out. Oh, Jesus. Right. Well, after that start, if you just said we'd have got to half time and we'd be 1 0 down, I would have snapped your hand off. And actually, you look at the XG, it's not ridiculously bad. If we keep getting these chances and stop them creating chances, which we've kind of done since the. Um, uh, since that really good chance um, where the ball was bouncing around everywhere. Um, we we could put one in the back of the net from distance. You never know. You never know. But we'll, uh, we'll go in and we'll say, well done. We are only 1-0 down. It's daft. Well, no, it was, I was going to say, can that count as a shot on target that we see? But not really. Come on. Can we um, can we tackle him? We've not been anywhere near the ball. <laughs> oh look at them playing with us! Okay, and they've got like five extra men. Pedri, Dodo, and that's wide. And I think that was pretty good play from the defender. Pressured him, and uh, no. Nope. You shall not pass into 2 0 up against Bajiktas. We'll just see this one out. Krollis. I don't think this is going to be a chance. Not with that sort of um, quality touch from Bajekic. I mean, it was about half a football field in front of him with his, uh, with his first touch. Come on. I mean, to be fair, this is how things felt early days in the Champions League, but we don't, certainly don't get this against everyone. Aldrichis, what are you doing, man? I'm thinking of taking him off, to be honest. And that was a lovely, a lovely ball. And yeah, we're going to bring on... Lisnovs is coming on. And... Uh, do we bring on Popovich? Popovich and Lisnovs and see whether a couple more different strikers make a difference. Well, you'll say 70-odd minutes then. We're making a change. Bamba, Iliev coming on. It's not dreadful. It's not dreadful. We've we've had chances. They they certainly deserve to be ahead, but you just never know. Right, Bajekic here. Iliev has got it. We haven't actually seen a highlight for, for us, though. I think that's the, the big worry. <laughs> the uh, long-named centre-back there. Iliev. Oh, oh my... That looks dodgy as heck. That looked like it could be a penalty, folks. It is a penalty. Who's going to take it? I'm just going with whoever whoever's decided to take it. Krollis, probably. Could we take this one all? Could we get this in? 
It's one all against Barcelona. We don't deserve this. We don't deserve this. We'll, we'll go back to cautious, folks. <laughs> we're not over committing anyone now. I know we're probably going to lose this right at the end, but... What, what is that? God, oh, come on. Run out, man. Run out. De Jong. Over. Over. And the Martin. Apparently, they're crap in the air. Encourage them. Last few minutes for a historic result. Four minutes of added time. Ticking away. Two minutes to go. One minute to go. What a result. What a result that is. Oh my. We were recording, weren't we? We were. That is easily one of the best results we could possibly have had. Looking at the XG, we weren't completely blown away, but no way did we lose deserve to get anything out of this. But but we did we we, we scored our chance. Our our one decent chance that we had, we scored it. They had a lot of chances and they spurned them all. And that's what we've been doing. My God, folks, a 1-1 draw in the new camp. Can you believe that? Jesus. <laughs> well, in the end, in the uh, intergame, it was, I think, a 3-0 loss to Bajiktas. But that 1-1 draw could be absolutely massive in the race to get third place. Barcelona are going to be kicking themselves they didn't do a little bit better there but um, yeah well let's just have a little look at the Barcelona side because how did that happen they're five star side so it's not like they've reduced in quality massively player wise you know they've got a lot of, of decent players here they've got um, yeah Kimmich is 36 De Jong 34 And then some young quality players coming through. Yeah, Rodri didn't quite make it in, but 35. Uh, Vieira, 31. Is that Fabio, Fabio Vieira? I, I know that name, don't I? Um, so, yeah. What do you think about that, folks? What do you think about that? A draw in the new camp. Wow, and that's with a really dodgy goal right at the start. The the goalkeeping was not good from Yahori there. Right, folks. Anyway, we'll come back for the home game against Inter. I mean, who knows what's going to happen. If we can get a result against uh, Bajiktas in the next game, we are in a really good place to qualify for the European knockouts. Don't know which ones, but probably the Europa League. But uh, I will see you for the for the next one. Not quite sure when that will come out, but uh, make sure you watch, keep an eye on the channel to find out. If you enjoyed this episode, and why would you not hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one where we'll try and double up um, ridiculously stupid results when we play into. See you then. Bye bye.